We, we often talk about going back to school, but we seldom uh, talk about uh, parents going back to school for the first time. Joining me this morning, we have Elaine Lamb from the Chang School, and that's exactly what we're talking about. There are a lot of people out there trying to get back into the workforce or maybe reposition themselves, uh, and they're going back to school, and they're intimidated because maybe they're a single mom, mm -hmm. or perhaps they, they have two parents in the home, but it, it's a big challenge. Certainly, we see a lot of students like that, and I can speak to my own mom, who's my own personal hero, because she went back to school when we were young. There's three of us, and she was also working part-time. So it's, it's a big investment of, of time and energy, and it also requires the whole family. Uh, we all, always recommend that students have a, a good chat with their family, just to be able to set expectations. Your kids need to know that you're always going to be there for them but that you have homework to do as well, and that you're going to be facing some of the same challenges they do, working in groups, time management, uh, being able to, to know that you're making an investment and that learning is forever, that uh, the classroom that you're in today, that's going to also continue when you're also a, a mom or a dad or working, um, that the careers that you see in your storybook, a doctor, a nurse, teacher, those are changing. And certainly uh, the jobs that we see now didn't exist 10 years ago. Yeah, you're, you're saying there's a lot of lessons for kids to learn from their parents Absolutely. going back to school, yes. It's about persistence, and it's about reaching a goal. Um, but beyond that, it's about being able to manage your time and to be able to, to know that you've got to perhaps uh, leave a party half an hour early so you can study for a quiz, um, and that certainly school is lots of benefits beyond just what you learn in the classroom. It's about connecting with your teacher and your classmates and your instructors, and uh, that there's a whole world out there that's more than just what you learn, but it's the social learning as well. So we need time management, a strategic plan. Now, if we're deciding to go back to school, what are some good industries or some, maybe some good uh, ways that we could re-educate ourselves right now? Well, one thing about uh, what we know as continuing education today is that it's changed so much that the careers that we knew of 10, 15 years ago aren't the same. There's so much that's happened and we do need to always go back and update our skills and just be current in the workforce. Mm -hmm. So one big area that we're seeing a lot of movement in is in big data and it's being able to understand you know, all this crazy noise that's made out there in terms of the types of data and understand what's really important and what's key for decision making. Uh, we also have a great new workshop um, on social media and it's for executives on, on how to be able to brand yourself online to be a thought leader. And these are all new areas. Um, another great uh, certificate that we have is for people who are wanting to set up their own business in Canada and might be newcomers and it's a certificate in entrepreneurialism and multiculturalism and it's just in time learning. It's all about getting the skills that you need to be able to be an entrepreneur in a diverse workforce. What are some of the industries that you should say that people should maybe avoid? That's a, a great question. I think that uh, any industry or any course that promises you um, something at the end that you don't think that you can really quantify, um, that it's really important for you to be able to know that you're investing this time as a, as a parent and you have your family and so you want to be able to, to know that what you're getting at the end of it is really going to have value. So you've got to know that whatever you are taking is going to have some sort of currency at the end. Thank you very much, Elaine. Uh, she's from the Chang School. We'll have more information on our web website. For all those parents, kids, and everybody in between going back to school this year, we hope that you have a great one and keep learning. That's what I always say. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Frank. We'll take a break right now.